Welcome to this tutorial about using Kyle Microvision with the Kyle RTS R toys. The evaluation board that we will be using is the Priscal Kinetics Freedom K64F and the real-time operative system that we will be integrating to our project is the Kyle RTX CMC's R toys compatible. The first step is to start the Kyle Microvision IDE. Next, start a new Kale Microvision project. When the Create New Project window appears, create a new folder to allocate your project. In my case, I will name it Blink. For the target device, select the Freedom K64F related to our board. Expand the CMC software component. Enable the CMC core functions to the Cortex M processors. Now expand the RTOS software component and enable the Kyle RTX RTOS. When enabled, you will note that your Kyle RTX Artos need another software component for full operation. Click Resolve to finish the software component setup. If you expand the device software component, you will note that a startup code was needed to finish our setup. Right click to add a new source and add a new item to the group code. When prompted the new window, select the user code template and install the RTOS main function. Open the main function, right click on the text editor window and insert the include for our Freedom K64F development board. Now start inserting the highlighted code. Now insert the second part of the highlighted code. Now I will explain more about the code. Basically, the let initialize function enables the GPIO PTB21 to be an output. The blink function makes a delay of 1 second and toggle the output of the port B21. Note that the blink function inside is implemented in a while loop. The OS thread depth enables the LED function blink, the thread resides in memory but is in mode dormant. The OS thread create function enables our blink function in a ready state. And finally, the OS kernel start, start the RTOS kernel and begin the thread switching. Now that everything is ready, please build the application to generate the debug files. A zero errors and zero warnings must be our result for the compiled application. Now, right click on source group 1. Select the options for this target. Click on the debug tab and in our case, please select the PME micro debugger. Now, on the settings button, select the correct interface. Our correct interface is the OpenSDA Embedded Debugger. Now select the correct microcontroller of our board. Click in the download button to download our application. The P&E Debug and Flasher window will appear and start programming our microcontroller. Now that our application is ready, Please click on the debug button. The debug mode will always start putting a breakpoint in our main function. By this case, we only want to execute our application. Please press the run button and you will know that the blue LED is blinking at a rate of 1 Hz. This will finish our tutorial about using the CAD RTX RTOS with KL Microvision 5. If you want more information about this node, please visit www.seriescontrols.com.